Hey everyone, so today I have a video for you about my pre-travel or pre-vacation beauty routine. And the reason I am filming this video, in case you didn't know, which you probably do because I've mentioned it like a thousand times, um, I am going to Disney World really, really soon. And I just wanted to run through some of the things I do on the lead up to a trip, some of the beauty products that I use, because I know that's the kind of thing a lot of you are interested in. So I thought I would just run through skincare and hair and all that kind of stuff. So let's just dive right in with skincare. One of the things I do probably, I mean I do them fairly regularly but I must admit I don't do them as regularly as I probably should, are face masks. So when I'm on the lead up to a Disney trip I try and do them a couple of times a week, three times a week if I'm being like really really good and remembering to do them. And I prefer to use sheet masks just because they are easier to use, you don't have to like rinse them off. I find ones that are kind of like clay masks and any that are basically like a lotion that you put on um i just find those a little bit annoying to then have to wash off and sometimes it gets stuck in your hair and all that sort of thing so the ones i'm currently using are from the brand tony moly i got these in south korea um, and my brother brings them for me when he um comes home and um, these ones are the intensive wrinkle care and i also have um like a collagen one and uh green tea is the other one so i'll just sit there and do these generally if i'm watching tv sometimes even if i'm editing you guys would be like like what are you doing um, but sometimes I do wear them at really random times because that's the only way I will remember and have time to actually do them because it's all very well with these kind of skincare routines but it's very easy to totally forget and uh, yeah so I kind of just have to do them as and when I get chance. But yeah, doing some face masks is always a good one before you go on vacation. And the other thing I do use, and I tend to use these at night time when I've just got into bed um, just before I go to sleep, and these are the soothing eye patches. These particular ones I've mentioned a million times in favourites videos, in haul videos. They're such good value. This entire packet, which has 15 like sets of the patches, is one pound from Primark, if you can believe that. It's so cheap, and they do work work really well it's really important to hydrate your under eye area if you don't that's when you do tend to get fine lines and wrinkles either sooner than you should or worse than you should this is a really good way of preventing those so um, you can get tons of different ones I sometimes use Sephora um, but these ones are great and um, like I said they're just such good value so if you bought a pack of these you could um, if you remember to put them on every night before bed that'd be like two weeks before your vacation to use all of them another thing I like to use is this nip and fab glycolic scrub fix and this is something I normally put in the shower and I will use it maybe three times a week so once I'm done with all my other like hair washing and everything else I just do this before I finish my shower and it's a facial scrub it just removes any dead skin cells sort of brightens up your skin a little bit I just really really like this one I don't find it in any way irritating because some scrubs can be a little bit full-on and they either leave you feeling a bit like too tingly almost um like a bit irritated but I don't find that I get that with this particular one they do a moisturizer that you can put on afterwards which is meant to be a follow-up to this I don't actually use that but I really really do enjoy the scrub and I got this from Superdrug another range of products that I really really like for skincare is QRX labs now I'm going to start with a bit of a warning about this don't be alarmed um, QRX labs do some great products at a really really good price and um, they do all sorts of serums and different things they're kind Kind of a little bit similar to The Ordinary if you've tried that brand. Um, this particular thing that I use is a glycolic acid peel. Now this can be extremely irritating to skin if you don't do it properly and when you actually get this product sent to you it does say, in fact I think it says on the bottle as well, let me just read what it says, um, always carefully follow directions on our website at qrxlabs.com. So basically, I just want to say a little disclaimer. Um, I use this, it's fine on my skin, but be extremely careful. I cannot be responsible for any bad reactions people may have. You do have to follow instructions very, very carefully. Um, so look on their website. So basically after that scary little spiel there, um, glycolic acid peels are really really great for kind of, the way I would describe it, revealing amazing skin, but you cannot do them very often because like I say they are quite strong on your skin so you would not want to be doing this all the time. I think it does say on the website how often. I probably do this maybe like 
once a month and um, if I was doing this as like a pre-vacation thing I would just do it like the one time probably about two weeks before I go just in case I did get any irritation I'm lucky I've never had any irritation it can feel very tingly when it's on so at first you're like oh god this is a bit alarming um, but it, I've never had any bad reactions or anything but like I say if you do have very sensitive skin or anything like that just exercise extreme caution and read all the information before you go ahead with anything Thing. and this one which is a spray so this one comes in in a dropper and you just put it onto some cotton wool um, put it over your skin leave it on I think it's a really short amount of time they recommend I think it's anything from like 30 seconds up to two minutes or something depending how regularly you have used them and whether it's your first time using it and then once you've done that um, you spray the chemical peel neutralizer um, over where you have put this and then you rinse the whole lot off so I have probably suitably terrified everybody talking about these products the only reason I've been so full-on about warnings is because I know this is a very strong product for your skin and I just don't want to be liable for anyone's skin issues that they may have so yeah like I said I am absolutely fine with this but please please take advice or read advice or whatever before you use these products. Another thing I use every night before bed is the Ole Regenerist Whip and this one happens to be the SPF 30. They also do it in a non-SPF version um, but I really like this one because obviously when I'm out in Florida it's really good to protect your skin from the sun or frankly just all of the time you need to protect your skin from the sun and this moisturiser is just so good. It smells really nice and fresh. Like the name suggests, it's like a whipped kind of texture, but it's just a really, really good moisturizer. And I have been noticing that my skin is just a bit more kind of smooth looking, I guess. Um, I seem to have pinpointed it since I started using this. So hopefully that's what it is, but I do put a lot of things on my face. I'm not gonna lie. So I guess it could be something else, but I have noticed a difference definitely since I've been using this. It's not cheap. It is about 35 pounds, something like that. But if you look out on superdrug.com, they have some really, really good deals on this. And um, that's when I picked up this one and another one and I got a really good deal. So yes. And actually that's where these ones came from. My mum and dad got them for me my birthday and actually got two and it was on a really really good deal so I can highly recommend that. So let's move on to body care. Obviously you want your skin to look as good as possible because in Florida for the most part you'll be wearing um, shorts or dresses, play suits, whatever it might be. The fact is more of your skin may be on display than usual which fills me with absolute dread so I like the skin that is on display to look as good as it can. Okay my battery just went when I was mid-flow there so if things have changed or I'm more zoomed in or whatever sorry about that and also we're losing the light very rapidly so I'm gonna hurry up. So I was just about to start talking about the Superdrug Foot Nourishing Sock Pack. So this is like a face mask for your feet and I actually discovered these. I bought them for my sister-in-law Jenny's hen weekend. I bought them for everybody and they were so good. <laughs> Somebody accidentally left them on overnight. It does actually say on the packet for to leave them on for 15 to 20 minutes. I now deliberately leave them on overnight and find that they work even better. Again, Again, though disclaimer I am not suggesting using things in a manner other than directed um, I'm just telling you what I do and I've never had a problem <laughs> but yeah these are so good they make your feet feel really really soft I always find when I'm on a Florida trip all the walking around and wearing like sandals and flip-flops and stuff your feet can get really really dry really quickly so on the lead up to a trip I always use these um, probably once or twice a week for the two weeks prior to going so that when I go my feet are at least in a good condition before I've started but you can get this one and there's also a tea tree and mint you can often get these on a three for two deal and they're not that expensive to begin with so I can highly recommend these next is a product I've mentioned before and it's the sit tight saddlebags plus stubborn area serum from soap and glory that is a very long-winded name and this is kind of like a targeted serum so although it says saddlebags um, you don't have to just use it for that I use it on my thighs like all the way around on my inner thighs that is like a massive problem area for me um, anywhere really that you want to you can use this and it's got kind of a roller thingy on top and you just sort of squeeze the product onto that and you can lock the thing so that you're not getting too much product and you basically massage that into your problem areas and I do actually find you know you're not going to use it and it's going to make you look like you've lost a bunch of weight because you know if it did this stuff would cost a lot more than it does um, but it does I tend to find just make things feel a little bit 
smoother and tighter, sort of not as flabby, I hate that word, um, but yeah, basically that's what I kind of find it does. So it's not a miracle worker, but it does make you feel a little bit better and a little bit more confident um, when you are wearing, like I say, short skirts, dresses, all that kind of thing. And you can get this from Boots, I think, sell it. I don't know if Superdrug do Soap and Glory. I'm not sure, I know Boots definitely do. I will link as many of these products below as I can. And the other thing I wanted to mention, I don't actually have with me because I haven't purchased it yet. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about fake tan. Now I'm not a huge fan of like regular fake tan because I don't like the smell and every single brand that claims to not smell it still smells to me. That kind of biscuity smell, once you've had it on for a while, um, before you rinse it off, and then even after you've rinsed it off, I can just always, always smell it. However, um, I do want to recommend one that Kate uses, because her fake tan does always look really good, and it doesn't look fake and patchy, and she uses the Bondi Sands one. I will link it below. She really recommends that and always uses it, so um, yes, I will link that. And if, like me, you've got very pale skin, so the thought of using fake tan you feel like you would look ridiculous i use the dove moisturizing lotion that kind of builds up a gradual little bit of tan so it doesn't look crazy it doesn't look patchy but if you put it on a few times it just gives you a little bit of color um, if you've got that really kind of white leg thing going on which i always do and um, so i link that below again like i say that's just a body moisturizer and um, but it does have a little bit of like fake tan product in it so that's really really good if you you know are not into fake tan but also don't want to look white as a sheet, which I always do. So moving on to hair, obviously before I go away, I always have my extensions redone or I time my appointment so that it's just before I go away. It is utterly desperate at the moment. It's it really so badly they need doing. I'm going next week to get them done. And obviously I get my color done and everything else. But in terms of how you can kind of look after your hair, if you have a special occasion or in this case, pre-vacation, I really love this Tresemme um, deep smoothing mask so this is a keratin from the keratin smooth range I think that's like one of their particular collections and um, this is the pro collection this stuff is so good if you have thick hair if you have extensions if you have curly hair this is really really good the only time you probably wouldn't need it is if your hair is either very greasy or really really fine because sometimes things like this can sort of drag your hair down a bit if it's already really fine um, but you put this on in the shower obviously shampoo your hair put this on leave it for I mean to be honest I think it says on here how long three to five minutes I actually just shampoo my hair put this on do everything else and then rinse it off so that's what I do every single time if you have hair extensions make sure you don't put it on the actual bonded part so I have tape extensions or you can get the like keratin bond ones you don't want to put it anywhere near that because it is a um, marula oil product and you don't want anything oily near your extensions I just literally put it on the ends of my hair because if you do have extensions it they can get dry after a while and again if you've got curly hair or very thick hair this is just great for making it feel really really smooth so I can highly recommend this again in Superdrug they often have this on a special offer as well but I'll link it below and the final thing I just wanted to mention is nails so normally most of us before a Florida trip will go for a nail appointment there's so many different things you can do either have extensions you can have acrylic you can have gel you can have that put over the top of your own nails or like I say have some tips put on endless possibilities or you can obviously do them yourself and if you are looking to grow your nails in advance of a special occasion or trip I really recommend the OPI Nail Envy the one with the green writing which is just the kind of original one I absolutely swear by this for growing your nails and keeping them strong the only thing it does do which is mega annoying it makes your nails a little bit yellow um, which is not great but if you're planning on the then painting them it's not the end of the world if you're someone who can't grow their nails you probably wouldn't mind them being a little bit yellow in exchange for actually being able to grow them um, it's basically a nail strengthener and I just find it stops that issue if they're peeling on the ends or if they're so kind of thin or like bending over that they always then snap 
this would be a great thing to use. Um, what I'm currently using, I did buy an acrylic kit. If you watch my vlogs, you will have seen I bought that to infill my own acrylic nails. But something kind of weird happened. I don't, I don't think it was anything to do with the product. I really don't. I think when I infilled them, I might have filed my own nail a little bit or something, but they looked a bit kind of ridged at the top like I'd over filed I don't know I have no idea what I did so now I am using one of the dipping powder um nail kits now I see these all the time on Instagram adverts and things like that and I will link the one I have below but basically all you do is paint on what looks like clear varnish you dip it in the powder and do that a couple of times and then you just paint like an activator on and it goes really hard like acrylic so i'll just get them a bit closer they need a bit more paint so these are now my own nails i no longer have the tips on um but this does have the powder dipping stuff and then i just painted them this blue color for now so those are kind of the options that i would suggest um and these actually are my own as well so they have grown quite a bit which is good and i do prefer to do them myself on a regular basis because i just don't like paying all the time to go and get them done because it can get expensive after a while so yeah those are the two things i would recommend to grow them the nail mv or if you are going to like actually do them yourself once you have grown them i would use the powder dipping stuff and also I give myself a little pedicure i use these in the lead up to it like i was saying and i normally go for a brighter color on my toenails and one of them i really like is this sally hansen um it's the insta dry and what's this one called just in wine do love a pun and this is just kind of like a dark purpley color and my other favorite which is one of my favorite nail polishes ever is the rimmel 60 second super shine in hot tropicana it's a really nice pinky coral color i don't know how easy this is to get now because it i think it was a summer special one i know morrison's had it for the longest time if you do like online shopping with morrison's i don't know if they still have it but if i can find it i will link it below but any bright summery color is always nice for a vacation so that's going to be it for this video before we completely are in darkness because i'm almost losing any natural light that we have here uh, thank you so much for watching i hope you found this helpful i just wanted to run through some of the beauty products i use because i get tons of questions and i do have a video coming really 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 soon i know i keep saying that but it is actually coming um, of the makeup i wear when i'm in florida um, how i do all of that and i've also had a request to do a hair tutorial as well so i will be doing both of those things and they'll be coming out really soon so don't forget to subscribe and follow along on instagram and facebook i will link those below and if you want my disney in detail instagram and facebook it is just disney in detail on both of those so again thank you all for watching i hope you're having a great day and i will see you in the next one bye